What is going on, Pats Nation? You guys already know who it is. Patriots Global here back with another video. And in this one, we are going to be talking about my boy, Tyquan Thornton, a.k.a. Mr. 428 in the 40-yard dash. Sixth fastest since 2006. Second round selection by the Patriots in the 2022 NFL Draft. And just ultimately, what is he going to bring to this offense? What does he bring to the team? Why did the Patriots draft him? Now, obviously, this was a surprising move by a lot of people when the New England Patriots decided to trade up in the second round to select Tyquan Thornton, who a lot of people had somewhere between a uh, third to fourth round selection. But really, only time is going to tell if this was really a reach by the Patriots or not, who, of course, had to trade up because they were being trailed by the Chiefs and Steelers, who were both looking for wide receivers. Now, straight off the bat, like I mentioned in this video, this guy's an ultimate speedster. And what did the Patriots say all offseason? They were looking to get younger. They were looking to get faster. And offensively, they wanted to add speed. Looking at the transition of offenses in the NFL as of late, it's really transitioning to one, younger head coaches, but two, speed on offense. Whether it's at running back, whether it's at wide receiver, or whether it's a fast mobile quarterback, speed is the ultimate ability offensively and the Patriots went out and they got the fastest receiver out of all wide receivers in this draft again running a 428 40 yard dash I think that you can seriously make the argument that this is going to be the best uh, you know fastest guy that you've had on this roster and the best deep threat that the Patriots have had since the days of Brandon Cooks, who ended up putting over just a 1,000 yards on the season with New England. Now, straight off the bat, what he's going to do versus other receivers on the Patriots roster is he's going to challenge defenses in a way that most players in the NFL cannot do. This guy ran a faster 40-yard dash than Philip Dorsett, ran a faster 40-yard dash than Brandon Cooks, he actually ran a faster 40-yard dash, too, by 0.1 seconds than Tyree Kill, who ran a 429. He's going to be faster than Patriots' current wide receiver, Nelson Aguilar, who's considered the fastest player offensively for them right now, who ran a 434 40-yard dash. And what this does it is that it doesn't allow defenses to come up and absolutely stack the box. You know, you have to compensate for guys like Nelson Aguilar. You especially have to compensate for guys like Tyquan Thornton in case the Patriots do want to take shots deep. Yes, they are a team that really likes to operate in the short to intermediate route, but hey, if you don't guard the guy deep, Mac Jones is still going to hit them downfield. And look, you just gave up a big play because you decided not to, to, to put a safety or two deep to cover these potential big plays and these big speedsters down the field that the Patriots now have. I'm actually even more excited if the Patriots keep somebody like Nelson Aguilar because last year, again, Patriots really had no speed. He was the fastest guy at a 434 40-yard dash that defenses had to respect. When the Patriots didn't have Nelson Aguilar because he was out for a game, they didn't have to uh, play deep. They stacked the box, and that short to intermediate route the Patriots had was completely gone because the box was stacked, and they had no guys who could play deep. Now that you have two speedsters, you obviously can't compensate for both defensively, so I'll be very excited to see if the Patriots do keep Nelson Aguilar, how the dynamic of two fast guys is going to open up this offense. Having one fast guy is great. Having two fast guys, it's really hard to keep up with that defensively. Now, what I like about Tyquan Thornton, though, is that he's not just a speedster. You know, the Patriots don't really go for speed guys because a lot of time these speedsters just do that. They rely on that speed. They don't rely on anything else. They can't take contact. They don't run good routes. It's just, hey, I'm going to get open because I'm fast. But again, with Tyquan Thornton, it's different. And Patriots Matt Groh actually pointed that out, saying that this isn't just a linear guy. You see him really able to get off the line, and as for fast as he is, to be able to see him get in the red zone and do some things, and it's not just speed, it's six foot two agility to get up there and really pluck the ball out of the air, so there's going to be a lot of different things that he's going to be able to do to help. With that being said, from what Macro said, you can obviously see they know he brings speed and they're excited with that speed, but they're really excited with that size he brings at six foot two, really giving them a perimeter guy who can do a lot of things for them in the red zone. A guy like Brandon Cooks really relied on his speed. You know, once he got to the red zone, you really didn't see much from him, especially because of that size. He was very undersized. 
Now, a guy like this also actually helps out somebody like Mac Jones because somebody like Tyquan Thorne is fast, but doesn't take him time to get up to top speed. He has really, really good agility, meaning that he's going to kick it into that 428 speed pretty damn quick. So if you have a lot of guys blitzing, you know, if you're going all out blitz defensively or even have linebackers blitzing, a safety blitz, a corner blitz, Mac Jones is going to take advantage of the guy that's not covering. He's going to take advantage of that one-on-one -on -one guy that's going on with Tyquan Thornton. So it's really going to make defenses respect the Patriots receivers a lot more. Hey, you want to blitz Mac? Go ahead. But you're leaving these speedsters open now, which is going to leave room for big splash plays down the field if Mac Jones can get the ball out, which essentially could mean if teams start respecting these speedsters, you know, Tyquan Thornton, the deep uh, plays that Tyquan Thornton and Nelson Aguilar could potentially give this team, defenses could look to play more deep, could look to play more coverage, maybe put an extra defensive back on the field and not be blitzing Mac as much. Which really means that ultimately, Mac isn't under as much pressure. Ultimately, a guy like Tyquan Thornton is somebody who you don't want to leave open with no coverage, especially, but not someone you also want to leave with just man-on-man -man press coverage down the field. No safety help over the top, just man-to-man. -man. Because... Yeah, there might be a couple defensive backs that can keep up with somebody like Tyquan Thornton, but <laughs> there is definitely not many. And if you do not have safety help over the top, you are relying on your defensive back to have the speed to keep up with Tyquan Thornton. And like I said, 98% of the guys not going to be able to do that. Bringing on another guy who's a speedster next to, next to Nelson Aguilar with Tyquan Thornton is really going to prevent these other defensive backs from really crowding the box. You know, what's going to help these other guys like Jacoby Myers and, and Kendrick Bourne, Hunter Henry, Johnny Smith from playing more in that short to intermediate route and getting open and having some space because the box isn't as stacked because, again, you have to compensate for these deep threats now. You know, it's really sort of like a, a pick your poison type of thing. Either you're going to play hard press man-to-man -man coverage, not leave any safety help over the top, and now guys like Nelson Aguilar and especially Tyquan Thornton are going to be getting open down the field or going to get open very quick, or you can kind of put your guys back more, play a little bit more deep, put some safety help over the top, which is now going to open the short to intermediate route up. Uh, a lot more, which is going to give the Patriots room to do what they like to do more, you know, kind of pick up yards within, you know, eight to 10 yards. This is where guys, again, Ch Jacoby Myers, Kendrick Bourne, uh, Johnny Smith, Hunter Henry, this is really where they get open. A lot of defenses in the NFL these days are playing a lot of man-to-man -man coverage, especially a lot of press man coverage with a lot of defensive backs these days being super, super aggressive. That's one thing if you're going up against a smaller receiver or you're going up against a guy who's not too fast. It's another thing when you're going up against 428 speed. I think also guys playing in man coverage that are going to be super aggressive, especially at the line of scrimmage, are going to get super handsy on someone like Ty Quan Thornton, who they're not going to be able to keep up with because they lack that speed. They're going to start to get handsy. They're going to want to slow him down a little bit. And because of that, I think you're going to get a lot of pass interference calls, which as we all know, the pass interference gets called um, where the penalty essentially was called, which could move the chain significantly for the Patriots. I also think that Tyquan Thornton is just a super smart guy. I think he has really good football IQ. He understands the type of defensive back he's going against. He understands what the defensive back is going to do before the ball is even snapped. So he's really good at manipulating defensive backs who are going to play a little bit more back or are going to play some press man. But he's also really good at disguising his intentions, not letting the defensive back know, hey, this is the route I'm going to run or you know, this is, this is going to be my next move straight off the snap of the ball. Now, don't expect anything crazy when it comes to catches from Tyquan Thornton. He's not going to give you Hunter Henry, Rob Gronkowski types of catches, but for his size, for as slim as he is, he's really good at tracking the ball, has really good hands, especially as a very, very reliable target with only a 4% drop rate in college, but can still track the ball really well in the, in the air, has really good size for a good radius or a good catch radius, excuse me and can definitely catch some balls in traffic. But again, just don't expect anything Julian Edelman, Rob Gronkowski type leveled. And I really think that one of the biggest things that that real low drop percentage in college came from was his concentration. Not only does he have a high football IQ, but you can see in all of his highlights just that concentration he has from the moment 
he gets off the line of scrimmage to the moment that that ball is in his hands. I also think an underrated area of his game is 50-50 ball catches. He had a higher 50-50 ball catch percentage than I would have expected. A lot of times, these speedsters don't have that 50-50 ball ability. Again, a lot of times in, in the NFL, we see these speedsters rely on just that speed, not being a good route runner, not being somebody who gets open in the short to intermediate routes, not being someone who can catch passes in traffic or 50-50 balls. But Tyquan Thornton is a guy who can do that, which is why he's so dangerous when it comes to slants. Because of that speed, because of that 50-50 ball ability, because of that length, he is an absolute machine when it comes to slants, just like somebody else on this roster, Devontae Adams. So I think we could, or not Devontae Adams, excuse me, Devontae Parker. Uh, But I think there could be a lot of emphasis on slants in this Patriots offense for this upcoming season, and I think that it could vote really, really well. The NFL, like I mentioned before, plays a lot of press man coverage defensively, and unfortunately, over the last couple of seasons, the Patriots receivers against press man coverage haven't been great, but he really excels against press man coverage, so the Patriots are finally getting a guy who really is going to open up this offense. You look at an area of need, for this Patriots offense in receiver category, and I really believe that Tyquan Thornton brings all of those aspects. Before we end this video off, though, I want to give a big shout out to the sponsors of this video, BetOnline.ag. Our partners over at BetOnline continue to be the number one source for all your betting needs and sports info. Find all the latest sports developments, including the updated odds on playoffs, fights, and even next season's futures. And don't forget that baseball is back and the Major League Baseball season is here. And BetOnline is your continued source for all your sports wagering needs, including live betting, your favorite Vegas casino, and poker games. And guys, it is super easy to get started. All you have to do is head to the website today or use your mobile device to join us using that promo code CLNS50 to receive a 50% off welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts. Big shout out to them for uh, sponsoring me and sponsoring the channel. But that's going to be it for today's video. What are your guys' thoughts on Tyquan Thornton? Let me know in the comment section below. What do you think he's going to bring to this offense that I did not mention? Or what are you most excited to see? Let me know. Remember to leave a big like on this video and subscribe to the channel for all of your New England Patriots news. But like always, I appreciate you guys for watching. And go Pats. Thank <laughs> you.